Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Okay, so everybody knows that the NAM show is all about manufacturers displaying their equipment for exhibit at the NAM show, and it's available for people to go right up to it, mess with it, and play with it, and get a feel for it, and that's what it's all about. It's all about their equipment being showcased at the NAM show. So, at this NAM show in particular, in addition to all the other equipment that I had on my list to test, I wanted to go and test the Behringer and Midas mixers because my band had a need for 32-track mixers for actually three of them, one for our Southern California gigs, one for our East Coast gigs, and one for our studios. So I wanted to go and test that out, and I'm looking at my NAM map of exhibitors, and I go over there and I try to test out all the equipment, and I find out that they're not there. So basically, these are NAM manufacturers with exhibits that don't have their equipment with them. And I'm like, whoa, what is going on? Last year, you guys were all here. And I also wanted to test out TC Helicon's latest, latest stuff because I have a TC Helicon Voice Live Touch and I wanted to upgrade that as well. So basically, I've got 12 exhibitors here who the companies were there to talk to people, but for some reason they forgot to bring their equipment. Now, that's not what the NAM show is all about. The NAM show is all about bringing your equipment so that everybody can test it out, play with it, see what it's like. So here is the list of 12 manufacturers who all got together, rented the same huge space out so that they can talk to people. Midas, one of the main people I wanted to talk to about mixing boards. Again, they were there, but their equipment wasn't. Clark Technic, Lab Groupen, Lake, Tannoy. You probably heard of Tannoy with their monitors, pretty, pretty popular. Turbo Sound. TC Electronic, TC Helicon, which makes Voice Live Touch and other voice processors. Behringer, which you all know very well. In fact, last year at the NAM show, they were so big, they even had a couple of vans in there. So they had a lot of money last year. I don't know what happened this year. That's Behringer. Bugera. DDA and Eurocom. I cannot express my level of disappointment for daring to come to a NAM show to talk to people but not have their equipment there to demo, to test, to question what does this knob do, what does that do, and so on and so forth. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like in shock. What do you do about a company like that? They had a humongous space. All 12 of these companies got together and rented one huge space together. Together. And not one shred of an equipment there at NAM. I don't know what to say, folks. But NAM is a show for demonstrating your wares, and they didn't bring any wares. So when I said, hey, am I in the right place? I wanted to see the Midas model, and I wanted to see Behringer. And the girl that I was talking to said, yeah, we're just here for corporate meetings this year. I'm like, whoa, why? Why not bring your equipment? You got this huge humongous space here and not one piece of equipment well anyway that is my rant for nam 2016 
And all I can say about these 12 companies, shame on you. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.